Hello NATO squad, how are you guys doing? Um, I've had a really good relaxing week, so <laughs> so I'm, I'm all pumped for today. Okay, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm just going to dive right into the questions that we have today. The first one is how to deal with bad breath from someone you hope to date. I'm not going to tailor this to just um someone you hope to date because this can happen with your friend your sibling your colleague your spouse and just some person that you happen to be in contact with my best advice is you tell them you don't hold this back it's it's important that you do and if you have conflict about what to tell them how to go about it just put yourself in their shoes how would you want to be told that you do have bad breath if if you were the one you know in in this scenario so if you can't put something really nice and just transfer that into telling them and do it with love and even if they they feel bad in that moment about um what you've said but they would they will go back and think about it and and understand that you were just trying to be nice to them and tell them something to improve their health okay so um the second question is how to move on after being rejected by a friend who was confirmed that being in a relationship with you would ruin the friendship okay well um they have taught a little bit more than you have been and i'm pretty sure they've seen that the being in a relationship with you won't won't work out and and they don't want to ruin the friendship and the process so um yeah i think the best thing here is to I know it's tough, but just find a way to bottle that feelings that you have and throw them down into the ocean. <laughs> well, in your head anyway. But um, you should you should have respect for the friendship. And if you don't want the friendship, if you feel like being being friends with this person after like being rejected would cause you so much harm than good well i know it's it's hard but you just have to let go of the friendship because you come first um you have to feel good about yourself like whatever you do it has to be for you because you want to do that not because um not just because you want to remain friends um for them okay it has to be what you want um so i'm i'm gonna go right into the next question which is Dealing with a partner who has found videos with other people on his or her phone, that is a no-no. Like, if you're that partner that has such videos on your phone, you should delete them. It's it's not nice. It's not fair to your partner that you even have such in the first place. And that is really disrespectful. So, if you're that partner, you should delete them, apologize to your to to your partner and make sure like you fix yourself up and that doesn't repeat itself again okay and you you on the other hand that are seeing this you should talk to your partner about it tell them that you don't feel comfortable about this and that you don't you don't want it like while they, they don't even need to explain and then find reason to convince you that it is good okay like you don't feel comfortable about it and then tell them about it like and they should fix up okay it's not um it's it's not good it's not one of those things where you compromise um in a relationship it, it is it is bad well I, I wouldn't want that in my relationship so um if i was the one i would talk to my partner about it and have him fix up okay so um the last question is, a friend of mine keeps flirting with my boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> well, I think most people just throw the word friendship all around without actually knowing what it means. And because for me, I don't just, before I call you my friend, you have like a lot of boxes that I have to tick to know that you are my friend. And one of the boxes is that there is no way my friend would flirt with my boyfriend. It's not even possible. It, there, there are instances where um, my friend would be really close to my boyfriend, which is which is fine, which is good, but not to the extent of flirting. Like, if you're my friend, you would know that that is not acceptable by me. So why would you do that? Like, it is not, it is not even good. So if you have my feelings like at heart, like if you think about me um, as your friend, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't disrespect me that that way, 
and you won't even disrespect my boyfriend that way because um he might feel uncomfortable with with everything and don't want to say anything because you're my friend so you shouldn't put him in an awkward position and this goes, goes both ways too um if you're a guy and flirts with your um with your friend's girlfriend um yeah you should you should fix up okay and um it's not really a good thing like i said earlier like People just throw the word friendship up and down without actually knowing what, without, you know, without actually knowing if those people, um, they are really your friends because no friend would do that. Trust me. If, if they think about you as their friend, they wouldn't put you to, through that no matter what. Okay. So, um, it was nice having this chat and. I hope to have more of these questions. And like I said, you can send me an email. It's chatwithnater at gmail.com. Uh, I'm going to leave the email down at the description. And you can drop me a comment. Um, and you can let me know what you think about this video. Okay. Uh, bye. <laughs>